So honestly, this play gave me a huge migraine. I thought that it was interesting on how much stuff was going on during the play with the Athenian youths, um, the actors trying to figure out the play for the wedding, and the fairy king and queen fighting, and then Puck going around changing everyone. Um, I would say that love and transformation are two values during the play, just because we have four young Athenian Athenians in love with each other, and they go back and forth. You have the king and the queen that love each other very much, and you have the king and queen of the fairies that they were upset with each other, but eventually they got over it. Um, I would say transformation just because Puck is around during the whole entire thing, changing people's heads into donkeys, making people fall in and out of love all the time. Um, like I said before, I got a migraine for reading this play once. I read it in high school and it was still kind of confusing and gave me a migraine back then. Just everything that was going on. I kept getting the names confused because both of the girls' names start with an H. And it was just really hard for me to keep track. So I had to Google some photos of like the love triangle chart to help me understand who was originally in love with who and what happened during and after the potion. I also found a Quizlet that put in like dumbed down form to help me better understand that as well. After that, I was able to read the play again and actually understand, okay, who was in love with who and, of, and that sort. Um, issues with diversity, I think that there was an issue with like aggressive versus docile because women are supposed to be the docile person um, and men are supposed to be aggressive and like those kind of stereotypes, but in the play it was like the opposite. The women wanted to fight or fight each other due to what was going on. And then the men were docile. They were just went spilling out their affections and their love. So it was kind of mixed up. And then the queen versus king fairies, um, they were fighting and the queen was just saying no, no, no to the king, which doesn't fit female stereotypes during that time. They were supposed to just go with what the men said. Um, and then, so, all men were originally acting in the play. I find it kind of weird and awkward just because they were some intimate acts of affection that I feel like would have made some men feel or look uncomfortable while acting some of those parts. I think if the play was shown today with women in the mix, I think that the acting would be better just because it's more comfortable confessing your love to a woman is more relatable than confessing love to another man. It feels like if you're saying that to someone else like that, that it would have more meaning and it would be more in depth than being awkward, not knowing someone very well. It's hard to do that. Um, so my questions are, how do you think the common um, laborers fit into the play? Like, do they have like a better role in it than what I think it is? And do you think these punish punishment options were too severe or not severe enough?